happening in free game. We are coming to you live. But not live. From our glorious home in London. Another beautiful day in this existence on this planet Earth. How on earth, oh yeah, there we go. How on earth are you doing free game? We would love to hear. Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag live or not live. Let us know where you're coming from, how you're doing. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, the UK, Australia, if you're in Mexico, let us know wherever. If Comment you're below. in another universe, then sure, let us yeah, know. We, we're not limited to Earth here. We go into galactic. Yeah, I've heard from some free game from Jupiter. You like the free game in different planets, don't you? Yeah. But today, guys, is a very, very exciting day because as you will have noticed already, Katie has got out of her dressing gown. <laughs> you didn't expect me to say that, uh, did you? I did not expect <laughs> you to say that. How's it feel? Yes, look, I've got a dress on. Yeah, a nice dress. A dress. It's, it's halfway there to a dressing gown. So, today I present to you Katie without a dressing gown. <laughs> Remember this day in history, guys. So, Jojo, do you want to tell everybody what we're going to be doing today? We are going to be getting into the Christmas spirit. Yes. How are we doing that? Wait a minute. What's this? What's this? Yeah. That's more than it. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I felt really, really sad the other day because Jojo, like, he was nearly in tears. He's like, Mommy, I just, I'm not feeling the Christmas spirit. I just can't feel the Christmas spirit at the moment. I was like, oh, I just felt really sad for you that you didn't have that feeling. So I said, right, as soon as we get an opportunity, that's it, we'll get all of the stuff, all the Christmas stuff out and everything. And you've got your Grinch onesie on today. Yeah, let's check you out. Whole Grinch onesie. Wait a minute. Even though the Grinch story is themed around Christmas, he's Oh, he becomes positive towards Christmas in the end, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He gets the Christmas spirit he in the end. He says, look, Merry Grinchmas. He's rebranded Christmas. Look, there he is. I've been wearing this since about seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm so sweaty and boiling. Because you've been running around and jumping around in it. It's very cosy. Well, yeah, it is very cosy. It is. So, yeah, we told Jojo we'd get all of the Christmas stuff out today and have a, like, rummage through everything and see what we've got. And then tomorrow we are going to do something absolutely amazing we are gonna do a huge makeover on this room a christmas makeover if only we'd realized earlier that the christmas spirit was just in the cupboard in the hallway hey just open it up with it there's the christmas spirit let's get it out mm, i like that but anyway yeah so we're gonna do a massive room makeover tomorrow and then we're gonna reveal it to you guys in our next video hopefully fingers crossed i'll just give you a clue as to what it's gonna be like think elf those of you who have seen that movie, you know what the guy does. You're setting a, a bar very, very high there, Mummy. I know, I know. It's gonna, we're going to be up till midnight, I think. We? I'm not staying up till midnight for that. So as you can see, guys, we've got all of our stuff out here, ready for Christmas stuff. What have we got here, Mummy? We've got all kinds of things. Stockings. We're going to need an extra stocking this year. An extra two. Yes. Yeah, we've got loads of lights. Guys, the reason we're being quiet right now is because Sam is doing an interview in the next room on so, a video call yeah we're having to be like extra quiet which is a serious effort for us especially her loud mouth over here <sighs> look what i have found though guys it's not durian this is just a tub <laughs> christmas <of> durian <laughs> in this tub is catnip which we bought for the cat last she just Christmas. turned around. She's coming over. She's Listen. found something. Anytime anything new comes into the room, she's all curious and wants to go sniffing around. You're gonna get up on that box. Do you remember she got up on that box and then she wouldn't get off no yeah. matter what? There is a cat on top of the tree box. Deciding this is the place to clean herself. Why are you sitting there? Now is it because it's somewhere new? This is not a Christmas tradition, cat Samir. Maybe if I Sit just... on the Christmas tree box before we're ready. Maybe if I just start moving it, she might get off. No, 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 she thinks she's, she's having a ride. She thinks she's having a ride, but Whee! She's actually enjoying it. She's like, well, why have you stopped? Come on, darling, come on. Come look, she's lying down now. I'll get some string. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's it. You want it? Oh, she likes it. I don't think you're going to pull her along. Do I get across, across the floor now? Oh, yeah, good. Oh, we've got her up on her front feet. You know what I might do? Just like really gently tip the box. This is Christmas, not Catmus. Come on, come on. She's going to walk round she's onto the other there. side of the box. Oh my good. Oh, oh no, oh, she's gone. Oh. Stand it up. That's me. Do you, can you smell that? Put a little bit on the floor for her. Yeah. It's been a while since she had some catnip. Everyone knows getting into the Christmas spirit means giving cats catnip. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. What is it? Oh, curious, yeah. eh?
She's had a look on her face like, oh my goodness, but I don't know what come over me. Look, she's covered in it, guys. What have you done to yourself? She is covered in it, head to toe. Was it worth it? You happy? Oh, I feel she's gonna go for that. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that hat never stood a chance, did it? The good thing is they kind of clear it up, don't they? But then it just comes off them eventually. Yeah, I think we'll have to vacuum the whole place. I was pointing for you. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you want a vacuum? No, you a bit of vacuum. You can yeah, get a vacuum. <laughs> okay, the catnip has made her eat her own tail. She's aware that we're all one, and that the tail is neither part of her but also part of her. <laughs> I've never seen her grab her own tail and eat it. <laughs> As you can see, guys, Emily's getting into the Christmas spirit. She's been forced well. into it under <laughs> the hat. <laughs> In other words, she's in here because Sam's doing an interview in there, so you just... She got kicked out of his room. You're lumbered with us now, aren't you? <laughs> Poor thing. You're gonna have to get into the Christmas spirit. Oh, guys, check this out that I found. Jojo made this when he was about three at school. Oh. At play school, look. I can't believe it stayed in good condition all this time and things haven't fallen I off. I think Jesus did fall off at one point, but I glued him back on. <laughs> So this one here, that's uh, Sam's one that he normally has in his room. And Emily looks like she's eyeing up things to put on there already. Is it meant to yeah. be an icicle? It's an icicle. Emily hasn't seen our tree and all of our stuff and the randomness of the things that go on there. It's not all baubles and that. There's, oh, there's everything. There's the animal kingdom, isn't Every there? Every animal you can think of is on this tree and like all kinds of things. There's a shoe, there's a chair. Chairs. Is this a fairy or a... Ballerina? I don't know. My favourite thing is like this like ballet dress that I've got somewhere in here. That's like my favourite thing. Oh, I, I guess we better start things off with that. This has seen better days, look at it. How many days till Christmas? It's like an old face scribbled on there. <laughs> That's how many. Well, even though we're not doing the room today, I might as well get that up there. That's right, guys. Everyone knows you hang your days till Christmas signs on light, light switch. Yeah. Although mine isn't actually falling on, staying on. Yep. Okay, there we go. Kat Samir's just blissing out after her catnip party. Still covered in it, I see. Don't worry, we won't put the hoover on you. So we pulled out some of these decorations, guys, which are ones that Sam, Jamie, and Jojo made when they were really, really young. But what a lot of people don't know is what Katie does with them. She is quite the uh, snob when it comes to Christmas trees, decorations, and she puts all of these ones at the back where no one can see. Her own children. Emily's judging her as well, and so, so she should. My, what if my, I'm... my parents do the same. What, they put yours in? <laughs> Shame on you, Emily's parents. How dare you? If I make something, what would you do with it? Go to the back. Go to the back, it, it wouldn't even make the tree. It would have to be really good. Mummy was just describing to Emily the thought process she goes into when putting things on the tree. Why don't you share it with all of us as well? <laughs> eh? Well, I think she was like, I like to imagine I'm a little person and I can go into the tree and explore the whole area. And like, she's telling Emily this for the first time and Emily's just like, okay. <laughs> no, I do, no. What, so the reason I do this is because like, because Emily was saying, what do you do with the tinsel? And I said like, I wrap it around the middle of the tree like so there's no gaps. And then I always like sit there and stare at the Christmas tree and I imagine like I'm a tiny little person and I'm going into the Christmas tree and I'm walking around in a winter wonderland. And Emily was just like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> So Sam is in here now, which means normal volume of speaking can resume. Let's be loud, yay! And his interview went well, he said. Didn't yeah, he? I think so. I would hire him in a second. Mm. Just by hearing him and looking at him. This job will it get you out of the house? No. Yeah. That's good though. Is it something you're looking forward to doing? Yeah, very much. Okay guys, we've had a really fun morning sorting out all that Christmas stuff. I'm really excited to do a room makeover tomorrow. Make sure you tune into that next video after this one. However, in this video, no doubt you are waiting to know the results of who is pregnant in our family. For those of you that watched the last video, you will remember that we confirmed that someone 
in this family is pregnant. And in this video, we are going to be telling you exactly who. So before we tell you who is actually pregnant, we actually put our poll earlier today, just for a bit of fun, just to get some exact numbers of who you guys think is actually pregnant. So here are the results of the poll. Out of the 245 votes that we've got so far, 50% of you guys reckon it could be Katie. Ooh. Okay. 30% reckon it could be Jamie. Good. Mm -hmm. And 9% of you reckon it could be Emily. Only 9% for Emily. I know. And for those of you pretty handy with your maths, might be going, that's only 89%. You're right. I also put in there my name, just as a bit of fun. I put a big laughy, smiley face in there as a bit of fun. Go on, Bob. What did you get? I got 9% as well. I'm tied with Emily. <laughs> uh, the chances of me being pregnant. <laughs> Surprise, guys! The same chart, the same. Yeah. So the same I haven't got the kit. The same amount of people have voted for you and Emily. Yeah, I know. That's so cool. That's funny. This is why I like you guys. You've got a good sense of humour. I like But when people go, I've only got one vote. Do I go for what I really think? Or I just have fun? And you chose fun. My kind of peeps. So, for the actual results. Now, we could just come out and tell you who is pregnant. But that'd just be too easy. And probably a bit boring as well. So we're going to do this Britain's Got Talent style. Or America's Got Talent. Yeah, or, or Australia. Got yeah, talent. they do it in a lot of countries. <laughs> Whatever country in the world has got talent. That's the style we're doing it in. Okay, you've joined us for the final of Family Freedom's Got a Baby. I can now confirm that all votes are in and the lines are closed, so please do not vote. Your vote won't be counted, but you still may be charged now. Probably quite a lot as well, so. Don't vote, just don't vote. So now the votes are all in, we will be able to reveal to you who is in fact pregnant after the break. So welcome back to the final of Family Freedom Has Got A Baby. We are now going to reveal to you the person who in fact has got a baby. First to Emily, it's not you. Best of luck next year. Yeah, just come back, try and prepare a bit better for next year. Sam? It's not you. Oh. I'm sorry, you just don't have what it takes. Katsumi? It's not you. Silent. Heartbroken. Katie? It could be you. Bob. It's not you. <sighs> Scaredy cat. It's not you. Phew. I wasn't ready for the responsibility. Raven Raven. It's not you. Well, I wasn't expecting that reaction. We speak to Jamie now over live, actually live video feed in a live but not live video because she's very far away, a lot further than Sam, Emily, Katsumi and all of our other contestants. So Jamie. Yeah. Hi. It could be you. Okay, so we're down to the two finalists, Katie and Jamie. One of them is pregnant. I can just have silence, please. Silence. Silence! I can reveal. The person who is carrying a baby in family freedom is... Jamie! <laughs> so yes, guys, Britain's Got Talent theme aside, we can confirm that Jamie is the one who is pregnant and is expecting a baby! Yay! <laughs> How are you feeling, Jamie? Yeah, I'm alright. Jamie's had a, she's had a bit of uh, some ups and downs. Yes, a bit of a, well, maybe we'll talk about those yeah, in another. We'll, we'll save those for another video. Yeah, but. when we see you next, we'll 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 talk about it then because it feels a bit weird just over the phone, but this is the quickest way we could do it today, just to let you guys know. Yeah, we're all so happy. We're all really excited, Jamie. How uh, many weeks are you now? I am fourteen weeks. Now. Fourteen weeks. Wow. We're going to be grandparents. Wow. Jamie, you're going to be a mum. I know. I know. 
My baby's having a baby. Oh no. Not baby. Yes, you are. You're Not our baby. Right anyway. You're, you're <laughs> our baby. You'll always be my baby. Yeah, so it, a lot of people in the comments thought it was me that was pregnant. Um, but it actually kind of feels, I feel equally as excited. Yeah. Because. You just don't have any of the work. Yeah, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> I don't have to get up at night and feed the baby, but yeah. you know, we, it's still a, a wonderful addition to this family, and yeah, we're all really, really excited. I wish Jamie was here in person. <laughs> it seems feels know. weird. Just a head floating in the screen. Yeah, but yeah, we're all really excited, I'm, and and we wanted to do it in a fun way. I hope you guys understood the Britain's Got Talent reference, but yeah, yeah we just wanted to do it in a really fun way. Couldn't help guys. myself. One of the queries you guys actually had about Jamie and her boyfriend Aiden's relationship is that they'd only been together about a month. Now you've only seen him on the channel for about a month. They've actually been together a lot longer than that, like pretty much most of the year, right? Yeah, pretty much. We're about this was like February. Yeah, February. Exactly, so yeah, it's just because we haven't seen Jamie that much obviously over this yeah. year, so that's why he hasn't featured before. Yeah, and that's why we called him your secret boyfriend in those videos because you have been keeping him a secret for a yeah. while. Not from you? us, but. Yeah. So, was this baby planned? A lot of people might like to ask. No. <laughs> it was a bit of a no. shock, wasn't it? Yeah, so baby wasn't planned, but they were welcomed. Mm. Like, is, that, is that all you're referring to them as? Just baby? Baby. Have you at the moment? I can't really say he because you want to say he, don't you? Found out, yeah, and I'll be like, no. Jamie feels like the the baby is a boy. Yeah, she definitely feels yeah. like he's a boy already, and I feel like he's a boy, but maybe that's because you keep saying boy. I don't know. Aiden so wants a boy too, so Aiden, okay. Aiden wants a boy, does he? Oh, we were talking about it yesterday. He's like, actually, no, I'd rather a boy over a girl, and I was like, yeah, I thought so. Oh, a nice little boy with a nice little beard. <laughs> the baby, the baby's gonna <laughs> come out. If yeah. he doesn't come out of the beard, I'm not going to be happy. Getting back to what we were saying about the baby not being planned. I don't know if you know this, Jamie, but you were not planned. You were a lovely no. surprise and you were one of the best things that ever happened to me. So Some not... of the best things in life are surprises. They are, it's true. Mm. So we're really excited for Jamie and you're really excited too, aren't you? For everything that's happening. Yeah, and we're going to like, update and meet up with Jamie soon. We'll give you a bit more of an update of what's happening and how things are going and what's going along her pregnancy journey. Do you want to share your pregnancy journey on the channel, Jamie? Like bits and bobs? Yeah, I can from like so far and then. And like maybe like results of gender and things like that and scan results. Mm. And, yeah. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye to Jamie now and a big congratulations. Congratulations, Thanks. Jamie. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for participating in this. <laughs> Love you. Love, Love you. Darling. Bye. Love you. Bye. So we've just been joined by the Grinch. The boy who is soon to be an uncle. How does that feel, Jojo? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, you excited to be an uncle? Yeah. What are going to be your uncle responsibilities, do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> what you probably do you, don't have any, I don't know. What do you think it's going to be like being an uncle? I don't really know. You're going to take the baby to the park, stuff like that. Like when you're older, maybe. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to buy them Christmas presents, birthday presents, things like that. How excited then, are you? On a scale of one, on a scale of one to a hundred, how excited are you? 100 actually. Really? Ooh, oh, good. that's probably about the scale that we're on. 100, if not more. Yeah. Off the scale. Yeah, we're really excited for this time. We're excited for Jamie, and it's been just beautiful seeing her embracing everything in these early moments and these early weeks. And yeah, we hope to give you some more updates when we go and visit her and any of the big pregnancy milestones like you know gender reveals or stuff like that we'll see we'll see we'll yeah. see how she feels but what a time to be bringing a baby into this world yeah in the middle of the great awakening yeah. as well this is going to be a high vibrational baby coming in to do some powerful work no doubt so yes it's a super exciting time and we're really really happy to be sharing this with you guys as well we're going to end the video right here though thank you so much for watching we really appreciate all of you guys all of your comments all of the time that you spend on our channel and we hope to be bringing you more videos very soon and so we'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching keep rising keep rising, keep rising.